You're listening to Change Your POV Podcast, episode 89. When in doubt, go without. If you see a food that you're not sure about, it's better to avoid it. If you have an issue with it, look it up. Go to the resources that we provide on our website or go to almost any, uh, like Mark Daly's, Mark's Daily Apple. Uh, he is, uh, Mark Sisson is a primal health expert. You're listening to Change Your POV Podcast with your hosts, Bennett Tanton and Eddie Lazary. Welcome to Attack Friday, where we provide you with actionable tips, tricks, and coachable knowledge from health and fitness, growing wealth, personal introspection, and your environment. Now, let's get ready to attack. Hey folks, this is Ben and with Change Your POV Podcast doing a, a new episode of what we're going to be doing on Fridays called Attack Fridays. And Attack Friday stands for actionable tricks, tips, and coachable knowledge that is as an acronym, A-T-T-A-C, Attack, that we're going to be um, basically giving you actionable tips, tricks, and coachable knowledge every Friday for probably a 10 to 30 minute episode at most. So just to get right into it, this uh, on today's episode, we're going to, I'm going to be covering basically, as our listeners know, we've got the, we've had a 30 day challenge going, a uh, 30 day well fit challenge. And then we're starting our 60 day well fit challenge, uh, which we've really gotten into me and Eddie and a couple of other guys have gotten into. So what I wanted to do today, and this is just for the audience in, in general, but it also allows me to kind of focus in on what we're focusing in on uh, over this quarter. And uh, and that's changing your lifestyle, eating healthy, more of a primal paleo type of lifestyle and exercise regimen and just going from fat guys to thin guys and healthy guys again. Um so the tips that I've got today mainly are uh, shopping tips and key points for going to the grocery store and things to buy, things not to buy. Uh, and it's really uh, simple, uh, frankly. So the first tip is shop around the perimeter of the store. This is where most of the food that you need will be if you're going to eat the way that we're talking about eating. And this also eliminates impulsive buying of low quality foods from the center aisles like chips, soda, cookies, and whatnot. I mean, think about it. What's around the outside? So you walk into most grocery stores, first thing you're going to slam into in most stores is the vegetables and fruits, right? Produce. And if you continue around the outside, then you usually run into meats, dairy, and then uh, I know in the grocery store that I'm in, on the far side, you run into beer. It's not necessarily uh, a healthy way to live. But hey, uh, you know, sometimes you choose to have a cold one here and there. And, and I'm not against that either. Um, but just be responsible about it and do it in moderation. Um, but what we're focused on is the food here. So you've got produce. You've got... Uh, Fruits, vegetables, obviously, uh, on the outside of the store. And then you've got the meats and dairy. Uh, and dairy isn't always the best, but uh, what I'm focusing mainly on are produce and vegetables. Eat meat and eat vegetables. Uh, and then good fats, like olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, um, eating avocados directly, things like that. And just as clean as possible. Stay out of the middle of the store. That's where all the processed garbage is. It's the truth. Uh, other than, uh, you know, so then in the dairy aisle, usually they throw eggs in there as well. And eggs are, frankly, a superfood. Eat them up. Good fat in the yolks. Uh, good protein in the yolk and in the white. Um, so, yeah, shop the, out store. I shop the outside of the store. Focus and try and buy grass-fed, if not if you can't do grass fed, do grass finished red meat. And that mainly encompasses beef and, and lamb 
And if you can't do that, then work your way down to the more natural, organic, and natural selections. And if not, then you have to go with what you, your budget allows. Uh, so eating uh, eating commercially processed is not is not the best, but uh, it's better than eating spam out of a can or eating processed crap. But if you can stay, and you know what, even if it costs a little bit more, it's it's worth it. Grass fed, grass finished red meat. Free range eggs, if possible. If not, uh, pasture, uh, pastured hens or cage free, and really look at the, you know, if you can see what their diet is, or better, go to the farmers market and buy um, free range there. Moving on from eggs, uh, free range chicken, if it's possible. Again, it's you know, th th that's what it's all about: is trying to eat as clean as possible. And we all know what processed chicken and processed meat and, and whatnot and what mainstream processing, packing and uh, raising of these, you know, chickens and of cattle look like. We've all seen the the uh, documentaries. And if you haven't, then I urge you to go and uh, check them out on Amazon, Netflix, YouTube, things along those lines. It really opened your eyes a little bit. Um, and then wild caught fish. Uh, is, is something else like wild caught salmon or uh, cod. Most wild caught options um, are just so much better than the farm raised, okay? Um, I know it's not always possible to do all of this, but um, highly recommend it to pick and choose and, and just do what you're able. Number three, don't shop when you're hungry. You're most. <laughs> you'll more than likely buy junk food. That's the truth. So do try to avoid shopping when you're hungry. Um, number four, shop with a friend if you often make poor decisions. Um, this helps keep you accountable. Uh, so if you have an accountability buddy, a workout buddy, uh, your wife or, or husband that uh, will help keep you accountable, uh, help keep each other accountable, then shop together. Shop with them. I'm I'm a big one on doing like the co-op type of thing, uh, whether you go and, uh, you know, hey, split a Costco membership or something along those lines. Costco is the largest purveyor of organic food in the nation now. Um, and pretty much almost everything that I'm able to buy from them, I buy it organic. And uh, it does make a difference. So that's another way to shop with a friend, save some money, um, especially if you have big families and whatnot. Uh, so number five, when in doubt, go without. If you see a food that you're not sure about, um, it's better to avoid it. Um, if you have an issue with it, look it up. Uh, go to the resources that we provide on our website or go to almost any uh, like Mark Daly's, Mark's Daily Apple. Uh, he is uh, Mark Sisson is a... Um, primal health expert, I guess is the best way to put it. And he has a blog called Mark's Daily Apple, which can offer you, you know, answers on just about any question that you could ask. Um, and there's just a plethora of knowledge out there. Um, you could even write us directly. Uh, I will more than be more than happy to field your questions about, um, things that you're questionable about. You know, like there's things like chocolate that people have a lot of wonder about some people say good to go some people say no and and it's a slippery slope but their chocolate is possible you just have to go within certain guidelines so if questions about that stuff reach out i will be more than happy to answer um number six do as much of your shopping through farmers markets and farms as possible nothing beats knowing your farmer um, this also relates to number two, if you go back to number two and look that up, the buying um, grass-fed meat when possible. Um, find a farmer and split a cow. I like to call it co-oping, cow-oping uh, with a friend. And you'll pay, I, you'll just end up paying so much less um, when all is said and done. I mean, you might have to throw up three to, you know, 500 bucks at the top of it. But at the end of the day, you know, there's grocery stores that are selling grass-fed beef for eight dollars a pound. Uh, when you, the last cow that I bought, it was about it averaged out to about four fifty a pound. That included steaks and tenderloins and ribeyes and and 
roasts and everything. Just imagine, like a half a cow. Um, so you will pay much less in the end. And um, plus you literally know where your food's coming from. Does it get any better than that? It, it's just like growing your own food. I mean, if you can, do so. so. But if you can't, go to a farmer's market and have relationships. Get relationships with these people. Know if they grow their, their own produce. Because farmer's markets can be a little tricky too. If they don't, if they don't grow it themselves, they're usually buying it from a, uh, like a wholesaler and then selling it at the farmer's market. I, I'm not a big fan of that, but that happens a lot. But there's a lot of good, hardworking farmers that go out there, and even if it's just in their backyard, and they grow food, and they sell it at the farmer's market, but at least you know where it's being grown. And it was probably picked a day or two before when, who knows, if you go to the grocery store and you buy a um, tomato, it could have been grown who knows where. California, you know... Um, it could have been on a truck for 2,000 miles and, you know, it could be a week old where you go to the farmer's market, it's usually a day or two old. Um, I think that's, you know, at the end of the day, that's probably a better choice. And then really lastly, but not least, uh, seven, number seven, buying food online often is much cheaper and easier to research. Uh, and I'll give a couple links uh, for the show notes of different places where you can buy things, whether it's uh, places like Thrive Market or U.S. Foods. Um, uh, it's U.S. Wellness Foods, I think is what it's called. And then you can buy meat from there and uh, they'll deliver directly to your door. Um, it's, it is possible nowadays um, to buy a good chunk of food online and at least then you know you're getting it from you know trusted and good sources so i will put a couple of those links in the uh, uh show notes as well so um some other things i wanted to talk about really what this what this new format for friday is that what eddie and i are doing truly is about helping people actionably change their lives, change their lifestyles, change what they, um, what they eat and how they work out and how they view life. Um, too, too long, I especially, I can speak for myself, have really just been coasting along. I, I mean, I have spurts of grandeur when I try to do this, that, or the other thing. Um, but really my life now is focused on truly helping people. It has been for the last few years. Um, but I'm ready to take it to more than just my family and friends. I, I really want people to understand that, you know, I'm an everyday guy, but I'm doing this. And by the end of this journey, you guys will see that it's completely legit. Um, between Eddie and I, and Eddie is truly kicking ass and taking names. Homeboy's got to go buy a new belt this weekend, I think, <laughs> you know? Um, and again, it's not all about weight loss, but um, we're losing weight. And because of that, it gives us confidence. It helps us feel better. But that's the other thing I want people to understand is that once you get through like the first two weeks of this, it's not hard. Um, it truly is a change in lifestyle that, uh, is for the better. Um, and I, you know, with these, with this attack Fridays, I'm just going to give you nothing but actionable knowledge to increase the, you know, adding book links and, and things for you to read and blogs and websites and, and all kinds of stuff to, to put out there. So you guys can just soak in this knowledge and then implement it. Again, it's about attacking this problem and these issues. Uh, and it goes way deeper and way bigger than you can ever imagine. And I, I don't want to start getting all conspiratorial or everything, but this food system in our country is broken. The food system's broken just as a lot of the big systems within our country are broken. We all know it. But if we don't have our health, what else do we have? We don't, we, we have nothing. 
So at least that's where we need to start. So that's what this whole journey, this 90 day journey that Eddie and I have embarked on is about changing the course of our health forever, not just for a 90 day diet forever. Okay. <clears throat> now, when this is over, it's going to be done for this, for this year that we do it, but we will introduce this program again next year. So I'm just mark my words and jump on board. I promise you that if you get on board with us and you follow these things that we put out, um, you'll live a, a more fulfilling life. You'll live a healthier life. And, um, you know, I, I don't really know what else to say other than, you know, let's do this. Let's go out there and attack this. Again, attack stands for actionable tips, tricks, and coachable knowledge. Again, Ben Tanton with Change Your POV Podcast. And uh, this has been Attack Friday. Subscribe, listen, rate, review the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Player FM, or any aggregator of your choice. Get out there and rate and review it. Get in touch with us. Tell us what you think we're doing well. Tell us what we're not. Tell us what you want to hear. Um, if you have questions for things like this Attack Friday, let us know. Um, and I, I promise you that we will get back to you. Okay, so with that, I am going to close this episode out, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're going to keep going, keep doing this, Motivation Mondays and our Wednesdays, which is our long show. So uh, check us out again, changerpov.com or on uh, Facebook at changerpov. Until next time. This week's episode of Change Your POV Podcast is brought to you by 10th Mountain Apparel. Mountain Up, as we call them, is a military brand inspired by the power and lifestyle of the 10th Mountain Division from World War II to modern times. You can find all kinds of stuff from Mountain Up by heading over to changeyourpov.com forward slash mountain up. Things like auto medals, clocks, dog tags, hats, and I got to tell you, the best hats ever. Hoodies, knives, license plates, man cave stuff, mugs, short signs, stickers, t-shirts, and the list that goes on and on. And the folks over at 10th Mountain Apparel are always adding new product to their line every single day. So head on over to changeyourpov.com forward slash mountain up. And when you're there, once you grab everything at checkout, be sure to use the promo code good 10 that's g-o-o-d one zero for your 10 percent off